Welcome to my channel 365 Blend Bytes. Today, I am thrilled to share with you this powerful way to bring your PowerPoint presentations to life with the beautiful and seamless morph transition. To begin, open the PowerPoint application. Delete the default text boxes on the first slide. Now, go to the Design tab. From the Design section, choose the Droplet theme. Then, under the Variants, select Colors and set it to paper as a custom color. Next, under Variants, go to Effects and select Glossy. Now, go to the Insert tab. From Shapes, choose the rectangle with rounded corners. Draw this shape on the slide. Keep the shape selected. Under the Shape Format tab, go to Shape Fill and choose white as the fill color. Set the outline to No Outline. Then, go to Shape Effects. Under Presets, choose Preset 5 to give the shape a subtle 3D effect. Now let us adjust the size. Under the Size group, set the height to 6.5 cm and the width to 6.5 cm as well. Duplicate the shape by pressing Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. For the second shape, reduce the size by setting the height to 5.5 cm and the width also to 5.5 cm. Place it neatly on the slide like this. Now, duplicate the shape again. This time, adjust the size to 4.5 cm for both height and width. Position it slightly away from the previous shapes to create a scattered effect. Again, Copy and paste another shape. Reduce its size to 4 cm for both height and width. Place it on the slide, maintaining a scattered arrangement. One more time, copy and paste the shape. Set the height and width to 3 cm each. Create the same shape multiple times. And position it around the slide, again scattering it creatively. Bring some shapes to front to give a unique look. Now, pick one of the shapes. This time, adjust the size to 2.5 cm for both height and width. Duplicate it multiple times and scatter these smaller shapes around the slide as well. For a more layered look, you can place a few smaller shapes behind the larger ones. Further reduce any random shape size to 1.5 cm for both height and width. Duplicate it multiple times and scatter these smaller shapes around the slide as well. Once this basic arrangement is complete, go to the Insert tab again. Click on Icons. In the search bar, type Sports and press Enter. From the search results, choose any five sports activities that you like and insert them into the slide. Now, place each icon onto a different rounded rectangle shape. Position them in the center of each shape, using the red dotted guidelines to ensure perfect alignment. Next, select the first icon. Under the Graphics Format tab, choose your desired graphics style. Repeat the same step for the other four icons, by customizing their graphics style. Next, select all of them together by holding Ctrl key. Navigate to Graphics Format tab. Click on Graphics Effects. Navigate to 3D Rotation. And select More 3D Options. In the pop-up window under Shadow Settings. Change the blur to 20 points and the distance to 15 points. Once done, close the pop-up window. Next, select this shape along with its icon. Right-click and choose Group. Then click Group again to combine them. You can also simply press Ctrl plus G as a shortcut. Repeat the same process for the other shapes and icons by pressing Ctrl plus G to group them together as well. Now, select this rounded rectangle shape. Navigate to Shape Format. Then select Shape Styles. And choose your desired style and color. Do the same to these shapes as well by applying different colors to different shapes to create a smooth velocity effect. After all the shapes are filled with your chosen colors and the icons are perfectly placed, it is time to duplicate the slide. Right-click on the first slide and choose Duplicate Slide. Now, on the first slide, press Ctrl-A to select all elements. Then, under the Shape Format tab, in the Arrange group, click Align. First choose Align Middle. Then go to Align again and choose Align Center. 
this action will neatly align all grouped shapes and icons to the center of the slide. Now, move to the second slide, which is the duplicate we created. Go to the Transitions tab and apply the Morph Transition to this slide. We are now done. Let us play the presentation in full screen mode to see this masterpiece in action. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to share it, subscribe to the channel, and drop your thoughts in the comments below. Your support keeps the energy high and the tutorials coming. See you in the next exciting video.